I've been challenging my brother to a bunch of build battles for the past few weeks to see who's the best builder in the family and who gets bragging rights. You see, today we're going to compete in a series of insane build battles, like impossible optical illusion, miniature builds that are actually miniature, and even curse builds that'll give you nightmares. You'll decide who's the best by dropping a comment down below. Small house? You got 10 minutes to build a small house. By the way, whoever has the least amount of points by the end of today's video, they got to call dad and tell him they're engaged. Good luck. That is the dumbest punishment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't honestly know what a small house looks like. I, he made this video. He already has like blocks planned. What else? Could we just like put down a mushroom and say it's a house? Oh wait, I can't even place mushrooms in the light. I don't know what we're doing, guys. This is really bad. A beehive is a house. Guys, I am screwed. I've wasted a hundred seconds already, like literally doing nothing. But I guess we're gonna go ahead and use some oak and maybe I can try to create a few tiny little baby houses here. I don't know how you make a tiny house. So let's try this. Let's try like a legit tiny house here. Pop in like a little trap door on the front, which might look like a little baby front door. What can I do to make this actually feel tiny? Like maybe like some baby looking trees that can't grow. Bro, I feel honestly like I'm getting wrecked right now. I don't know what he's doing. I got a lot of bees right there. Okay, what else can we figure out? Some wood? Now we just need a roof for this thing and this could be a house. Oh my gosh, this might actually be perfect. I'm gonna get literally destroyed right now. I could put some flowering azaleas though around the side here maybe. Okay, so we've got micro trees around here, which are great. String keeps them from growing. The azaleas look like little baby, like baby trees around the windows. We could actually bang out some stairs and create like little baby stream, little baby river. The problem is it doesn't fully match the rest of it. So I don't know the best way to pull this together. We still have 300 seconds left though. So I feel like I I can do this. Here's what I'm gonna do. These trees I don't think are innovative enough. Maybe so these actually look a little bit more like trees. So you can put these around. This is gonna look decent. I gotta think hard. Okay, guys, the objective was to build a tiny house and this is what we have. I mean, can you get tinier than that? That's basically a one by one block. You come in, doesn't look like anything. You can even close the ceiling on yourself and now you're in your home, but that's not it. You open up the floor and boom, secret entrance into a little hidey home got some candles for light, a nice clock so you know what time it is because there's no daylight down here, and then a bookshelf for some reading as you're laying in bed. This is the perfect tiny house. We're going to add a little bit of depth now, maybe like a little bit of a sandy hill. 10 seconds remaining. I, you know what, Zach? I didn't do anything for the full first five minutes of this, but I pulled it together, I think. Wow. I thought mine was bad. Yo, bro actually wants to call dad and tell him he's engaged. Look at this Listen, thing. Listen, hold you, on a minute, Zach. Go one inside. Bone meal, and then a beehive. Go inside. Now. <laughs> oh! Secret entrance. Snap. Dude, got me good. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Welcome to Mini Person Paradise. Okay, very similar theme. You instantly saw a tiny house and went, we got to get the little trees in. That's We've got little trees, but I want you to take special note, Isaac, of the palm trees. I bet you've never seen those before. Oh, I... I do like those. Micro hot tub, micro pool, and of course, a micro lazy river. Is there anything in it? Or no, it? it's a tiny house. You can't see the stuff because it's micro sized. I love the exterior, Zach. You out, you well, you well outdid me out here, but the, the house doesn't even have a bed. All right, voting time. Pick your color. This is one point for bronze, two for silver, three for gold. Three, two, one, pick. Oh, looks like two silvers, folks. We are tied up heading into the second round. Isaac can't I build can't here, so I'll do it. it. That's fine. Don't yep. worry about that. Go ahead and put that up here on the frame, folks. Oh, round two is the nether theme. All right, round two, nether. Be good. Let's first of all, guys, this build is nether themed. We need to get a, a portal right away. We're going to build a regular nether portal. And the idea is that it's going to, if you stand right here, the illusion will make it look like as if the nether is right behind it. Step one, uh, we're going to create the foundation, which is going to look like this. So. If you look through this now, it should kind of start to fan out. So we got to bring it back more. Nope. Oh my gosh, it's not working. That is detrimental to what we were doing. All right, we got a mass place. By the way, we did a, we did agree on a gentleman's rule of no world edit. So I won't be doing that in the, in the honor of the rule we signed. All right, let's go ahead and take a peek through right here. That's what you're looking for, folks. We're going to take it back just a little bit hair more. Here. We need to find like this. This block will be good. We'll use this. Bro is literally not going to know what hit him when he sees this. It's going to be so good. Bro's probably still sitting there, not even sure what to build. What does it mean by optical illusion? Really set him up for failure with this one. So this should give us the illusion 
now that when you stand in front of the portal, you're actually looking into the nether. You gotta stand right in the middle of these because I know Isaac's gonna roast me if I don't like actually set this up correctly. So the positioning here is a little bit off. We got that set up. Now let's get the details in. Another tree. So here we are with three minutes left, guys, and absolutely nothing to show for it. I don't exactly know what we do from here. Definitely, I think I could get some lava too. That would add a big element of fun to it. Whoa, I just thought, how sick would it be to have a strider in here? Because then you look through and it really looks like the nether. That is not bad, dude. That is not bad at all. I want to get a little bit more depth. Uh, I think it would be kind of fun if I could design it so there was like a glowstone maybe just barely peeking down. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Okay, is that giving us any sort of illusion? Not really. Oh, God. I'm about positive that we're going to be walking away with a big dub on this one, bro. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting so bored of this. This is the most boring thing that you could ever do in Minecraft. So we got this Steve in there. Literally looks like he's actually mining. You might think there's a player. I mean, this literally looks like the nether. 26 seconds. I feel good. I think we did the best we could on this one. Three, two, one. All right. Round two. Okay, so... Is... Right this way, sir. I guess that's an optical illusion. Please, I... stand right between these. Okay. I, okay, oh, sure. Oh, yeah. This would have gotten you a gold if you had done one thing. I, I think if you had done this, I would have given this gold. Oh, I feel like that takes it away a little bit. I don't know, guys. What's better, mine or his? Drop a comment because I'm actually curious. Because I feel like, I don't know. That's not bad either. I try to make like a realistic optical illusion using nether blocks. And let me tell you what, if I were to tell you, Zach, that all of those circles were the same color concrete, what would you say? <laughs> Don't, don't check, don't check, no checking. I'm telling you, and you can't check because that would be against the spirit of the competition. Okay, you have to trust me. I would say that is, I would say those are not the same color. What if I'm telling you that the, the crisscross of the nether blocks has caused your brain to think that those are four different colors? <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know, I don't know that I would believe I'm telling you, you I am telling you. <laughs> I've given uh, you my word, Zach. Honestly, I got to give you a point just because of how bad it is that it became good. Woo! That's incredible. I'm actually giving it a silver just based on how bad it is. I'm giving you a silver too, but uh, you already scored mine, so you can't take it back. I, yours was way better, Zach, but I've seen yours before in a lot of videos, so I, the creativity aspect of it. All right, well, that's fair. I did get it from a video. Next round. Colorful. Things get a little bit spicier, though, from here on out because this next round actually only has five minutes to build. What the heck? I don't understand how to think. What is an optical illusion colorful? All right, let's go ahead and get this thing started. Now, for our optical illusion today, it all begins with a beautiful color, white glass. Now, I'm just going to go with the rainbow because instantly when I hear colorful, I just hear the rainbow. Now, Isaac clearly cares about the details, so I'm actually going to enclose this room all the way because I feel like he'll be like, oh, you didn't close the room all the way, minus one point. We're even going to add a door. Welcome to the house of confusion. All right, so you're gonna walk into this and then you're gonna look out of this little corner here and you're gonna be blown away with a rainbow colored optical illusion. I think we maybe can just follow this pattern and then kind of bring it in one and follow it again. I don't know honestly what I'm doing. I just feel like it'll look cool. Let's see what that looks like. So really the orange is where the red should start. Okay, lesson learned. So can I follow that same path? Will that work? Oh, that's cool. The problem is I feel like it's gonna close the gap up though. I don't know how to not close it. What if I do this? Still closing it. What the heck? Well, it's it's better than nothing. I mean, we could at least continue on. That seems to be the strategy that works best. This one's really hard because it's so hard to actually create. Oh, there we go. We have all the colors. It's it's odd how large our orange and red sections are compared to the rest, but it's still an interesting illusion, like a weird, weird little tunnel here. We have 30 seconds remaining. He may want an extension, which I would be perfectly fine with. I'm gonna be real honest with you. Uh-oh. How you looking? Um, well, I started two minutes late, but I did get done, so. All right, guys, round three. We're taking a look at Isaac's color illusion. Walk me through what you're building here, buddy. Now, what do you see, Zach, as we're approaching my amazing build? A rainbow funnel. So what would you expect the inside of this said funnel to look like? A funnel. Well, I mean, of course a funnel, but you expect it to be rainbow. Uh-huh. But boom, it's not. <laughs> Zach, those blocks down there, what if I told you they were rainbow? You can't keep pulling that one <laughs> what? out. What if I told you? You can only that do that one rainbow. once per round, all right? <laughs> I know my rating, but it's not a bad build. At the end of the day, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Now, what do you see here in mine? I see a rainbow caterpillar. Why don't you come on in? Welcome to the house of confusion. Um, so what exactly is confusing about it's, this? If you move, it wobbles. <laughs> It's like an elephant trunk. I'm yeah. not seeing any wobble. You got to move forward, back in a circle, and then it wobbles. It goes like, it like changes how it looks. Uh, yeah, I got my score. Three, two, two one, one, go. I hated it. I'm sorry. It was the, it was the worst thing ever. I it hated so it bad. too. No, you picked silver. I saw it. You no, cannot do it. I saw it. That was I already in it. my inventory. You, 
No, that is unfair voting. Let the record show that this was a retaliation vote. It's just untrue. I gave you a freebie. Next round, bird's eye view. This one's gonna give us the illusion we're thousands of blocks high. And I actually had my team secretly prepare these maps that have been sitting in these chests the whole time, and Isaac had no idea they were here. So we're gonna take these back and use this to make our build. I feel like a dirty human being for cheating this bad, but I'm just trying to embarrass my brother in front of people. I honestly don't know how to build any illusion in Minecraft. Like this whole build battle is just ridiculous. All right, for this one, I gotta fly around and get a couple maps here. And the idea is if I can place these correctly on item frames and connect them, then it will look as if we're literally floating super high in the sky. Oh God. It's gonna be tough. We only have 180 seconds left, dude. This is not good. Dude, this might be the first one I actually can't finish in time. I'm getting a little bit uh, nervous about it. All right, I have no idea what we're doing again. That's been a common theme of this video today. I'm gonna lose this one. I know it. I've tried so hard to pull this one off, but getting these maps correctly is so difficult, man. Like when I go put these in, it's gonna look like honestly like crap. Look at this. I mean, the least I can do is try to connect them, but it's just not good, man. Oh! Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. All right, man. How you feeling? Um, yeah. Can we just start with yours and make me feel better about mine? Well, what happened to the world? Why is it so tiny? Uh, Whoa. you know, Zach, is this what a bird sees? Oh, this, this could have worked, but I don't know what's going on with the edges. Oh God. I know it's so hard. I couldn't oh, get it. I couldn't do it. it. Just I, tried ruins so, the immersion. I tried so hard. I know. I know what it is. It's not oh. good. I know. Okay. You know what though? That's probably, uh, mine's pretty bad. Uh, hold on. You got to get high enough up where you can't even see the water movement. <laughs> if, the like wa it. if you can see the water movement, then it's not going to work. <laughs> it said bird's eye view, bro. Not satellite view. Okay. Hold on, dude. Just, just get it so you can't see the water moving. <laughs> okay. I can't see the water moving. Now I can okay. barely see it. <laughs> Does it look like there's a waterfall? on ground that's all the same Bro, level. it's too far away. I can't oh, even see it. Oh, hold on. Come it. back down then. Come back down. Come <laughs> back down. Right there, right there, right there. Yeah. It all looks like it's on the same level, but there's a waterfall. If you very particularly move someone to a very specific location, it still doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, dude. That's what it was. It was a bird's eye view. At least I didn't just put down a map. I attempted something pretty difficult. You beat me, so I'm going to give you yes. a bronze, a silver. Okay, good. I think it's okay. fair. Guys, final okay. round. It's Woo! all tied. This is pretty intense right now. Winner takes all. Last round, baby. Big house. All right, guys, you may not have noticed, but I actually just picked up 64 maps that I've pre-made before this battle started, specifically to ensure the dub. This is the map, and uh, that took quite a long time to place. In order to create this optical illusion build, we're going to create a massive wall full of glowing item frames. First, this is going to take a while. Again, no world edits, gentlemen's battle, so we'll keep it smaller. I did see this one viral Minecraft clip that uses like furnaces in the corner, and I just want to build it because it feels like it would lead to a door idea. Now, as we start placing more and more of these maps, the screen that you're viewing from is going to struggle to look at. Now, as you move, it literally like makes these weird wavy patterns. And so the idea is, can I make a door in this using these frames? <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> Look at this. Now, that is a illusion door, folks, if I've ever seen one. Just imagine walking through this. So what I want to do is make this a lot bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, this is the start of our Minecraft illusion door. As you can see, the illusion furnaces on the outside of the door. Now, those are more just decorative candy to draw your eyes to the center. Now, I don't know what to do, guys. Now, this is the issue. Okay, this is so weird. I have 395 seconds now. That took about 100 seconds to do to finish off the last two walls in the ceiling. And then you're gonna have a full room after walking through this door of these weird trippy illusions. I've gotta be able to finish it in time. So, I need to get to work and stop talking. All right, item frames in the last wall. I just break it into little sections. I think I can keep the rhythm up here and the speed. All right, last section. All right, final section, guys, the roof. Let's freaking go. It's gonna be really tight. This is where all those stakes count, man. All right. I have no idea what we're doing, by the way. Guys, we literally have finally pulled it off. This is our optical illusion door. All we now have to do is seal it off with a door that can't be seen through. <laughs> and this is what you walk into. Look at how insane this is. I have never seen anything like this before in Minecraft, and it's so trippy. As you walk away from it, it just makes all these weird patterns and shapes. This, to me, feels like a guaranteed victory. All right, sir. How'd you do? Um, uh... I did so well, I took the last minute off just to browse. Wow, browse okay. Let's look at yours first, then. This is the build. No, go ahead. Take a look at the inside. Go ahead. I'm not giving you the win for this. <laughs> 
That is cheating. Like, you, get there's here, no baby. way. Get in no. here. Get in here. Look at this. The idea was an optical illusion door, and you just built an optical illusion room? <laughs> the door is the optical illusion. Hold on a minute. Where did you get the map? This is complete cheating. I built the map. Wait, show me your, Show me where you built the map. I will show you where I built the map. Right here. Listen, no. There's no way you did that in 10 minutes. I can't Bro, count this. This is an invalid attempt. I built this myself. Oh, my goodness. This is legit. I mean, it's a sweet build. I don't know how this fits the theme besides, like, it's a door. Because the door that, that, is I thought the door illusion. was supposed to be the illusion. All right. It, it's, it's valid. Let's see yours. Let's have valid criticism. What do you notice right away, Zach? You notice inverted crafting tables? That's an optical illusion. Walk in. Boom. Four inverted furnaces one of the most famous minecraft illusions of all time and then you come up now you have to stay on this purple block and then i want you to squint your eyes like so you can't see very well yeah you, you, it almost looks like there's a yellow pillar at the front there okay it does okay well, um, and that's all my build where's what does what that do with the secret door ah, and that's exactly where i got you you uh -huh. walked through this whole thing and you missed the secret door <laughs> Oh you didn't even see it, did you? You God, never saw it. Dude, I, I'm like very impressed, man. Honestly, it, got I, I got you with the power of deception, Zach. That's a magician's really first did. trick. Uh, guys, this is okay. for the final round. Uh, winner takes all. Three, two, one, pick. Oh! <laughs> I was faking you out. Oh. No, you can't fake out. You said no fake outs. It you picked up the goal. It was a fake that was the rule. Out. We're tied, bro. It's just a mini build. Oh. Anything you want, mini build. Okay, guys. First build hack of the day. We all know what we have to go to, and that is going to be the sea pickle, the best block in Minecraft. We got to build an aquarium first, though, to get this going. All right, guys, for my first one, I'm going to create a miniature tank scene. So what I want to do is create some dirt paths right here. And I'm going to put some mini tanks down, but I'm going to put a bigger one right behind it. And the bigger one is going to kind of be moving in right behind these guys. And so I think we'll use slabs. Oh, this is kind of hard, actually. All right, this is actually hard with the pressure right now. Oh, dude, I'm a little bit nervous about this because I'm not sure what Isaac's building. All right, there is the start of our build hack. I know it doesn't look like much, guys, but once we add some water in here, it's going to be an aquarium. Boom, boom, boom. I think that just went through the wall. Oh my gosh, why can you place water through the glass panes? Who thought that was a good idea? You see, that's supposed to look like the cannon of the tank. You see what I'm saying? This thing's gonna literally shoot Isaac's base and destroy it because I'm not trying to lose my younger brother today. Two minute warning. Oh gosh, I don't even have my thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be scared. Oh, this is good. If I put these down on the sides. Oh. Oh, that's not bad. That gives me like a little bit of like a tank security on the inside. Now what would look even better is if I could put like a chair back here. Oh, I can. Look at that. We have an actual chair where you can sit and control the tank. Okay, so this is a very simple hack for round one, guys. Now you might be thinking, wow, that is a wonderful tropical aquarium. But you might be saying, that's missing a dead sea pickle. And that's exactly what we're going to use the green candle for. Hey, look at that. A live sea pickle dead sea pickle. I don't know if Isaac realizes we can search for heads on my server and I'm going to literally search for wheels and put actual wheels on it. I think we could actually win this. The only thing that would take me on the next level is if I were to go a little bit more detailed in the last couple seconds here. I needed the cannon to shoot though. What I'm going to do is take a dispenser, put a fireball at the end of it, and I think this is going to get me the win because there's no way he's putting redstone in his. So if I break that, put a dispenser. Ooh, that's kind of ugly actually. Oh, that's not bad. Because now that it's back here, I can actually launch it from when I'm sitting down. All I need to do is put a button on top and then it should work. There we go. There we go. Bro, this is sick. I actually am very impressed with myself. All right, let's put the buttons in. I think we're about at time right now. Oh, what the heck? Zach just blew something up. That's a tank. Yes. Look at how sick this came out. Oh my goodness, dude. My build hack sucks. All right, come take a look. I'll show you around. Mini oh, tanks no. in the front, big tank here. Wheels. Well, that's cheating. Those are like heads. Oh, I don't know about that. It was cheating. Look at this. You could sit down fire the tank. Okay. That is gonna make <laughs> my build hack look like it's not even a build hack. We don't even need to look at mine. All right, let's take a look at yours. Let's oh, take a look at yours. I, I'm just gonna see if you can tell what mine is, all right? All right, I, oh, what the, ooh. All right. A mini, ooh, uh, now, hold ooh. on, hold on. Is it, hold on. Now Is look. it that you're using a candle as a dead sea pickle? Oh my gosh, you got it, yes, yes. Double build hack, it's also could be a new sea pickle that hasn't gotten the girth yet. You built a baby pickle? Zach, it, it was a build hack. It was supposed to be- I built a functional tank and you built a baby pickle. Folks, we have won this first round. I'll tell you that right now. All right, let's give ourselves a ranking, guys. It's one, two, or three points. The most points at the end wins the dollar. Isaac's will be a two. It's interesting. Oh, okay. Zach's, I'm gonna also give you a two and I feel like we didn't tie, but- How is mine not what, a three-pointer? Are you joking? I thought mine- This isn't even- It's, you should have given me a one. Two, You're right, Isaac fault. gets a one. Okay, Deal. I, I didn't, Deal. okay. Round two, invent 
a never before seen mini build. Oh my gosh, I have to invent? Oh man, round two, let's go. Okay, so this one's really tough because I can't really Google it to get inspiration and uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't have any idea. Round two guys, we have to come up with our own build hack. Oh, what could it be? I'm, I'm actually panicking right now, guys. There's too many blocks. I know that you can use this on diamond, and this makes it kind of look like magma. I could do the diamond, which we already know kind of looks like a glowing blue block. Okay, this idea is not going to work. I'm a minute and a half in, and I haven't even thought of an idea yet. There we go. I got it. This is going to actually be an excavator. That's But it's too big. A mini excavator. That's the idea. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I get small blocks like fence posts, this actually might come out kind of nice. Okay, guys, I panicked and I made the hopper wither as my build hack, but that obviously cannot be our move here. That's just temporary in case we can't think of anything else. Come on, gotta be something better than a hopper hopper wither. Okay, chains. Chains seem like they would have something that could be a build hack. Look at this. I'm making it turn. I don't think he's gonna notice the insane detail in making this thing turn. All we need is a glass cabinet that we can work from. So we're gonna add this in. That should be elevated just a little bit. I really don't know much about these but I would assume you would be up just a little bit higher and then like a little ladder to climb into it. <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, it's not good. Okay, guys, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm making some sort of trellis to grow watermelons on, you know, because watermelons in real life grow like on vines and some people like hang them up. I have 15 seconds. This is going to be the most tight window I've ever had. That is time. Dude, I don't know what I am doing over here. Gosh, I couldn't think of a build hack on the spot, dude. Really? I actually oh, came up with one man. that I'm really impressed by, and I won't even lie to you, I think it's kind of decent. Okay, well, that is not what I needed to hear. Let's just take a look at yours. I actually created a miniature excavator. How are you building these things? That's <laughs> pretty good. What is that? There's no way. Oh my gosh, he's just building tanks every round. I don't have, I can't compete. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at Isaac's. This was totally original and Isaac has- Melons grow on a trellis. And then I tried to build a trellis, but I didn't have enough time. <laughs> is that how melons grow? Isaac, I'm gonna give you the bronze again. I'll give it, it's you, okay. You earned a gold this time. Good job. Our next build hack is a random mini build. So uh, literally anything, doesn't matter. Just make it cool. Five minutes, three, two, one, go. I've got a really weird one right now to try to make some miniature trees. We're gonna do an azalea tree. So what you can do is actually take, I believe a flowering azalea head from a player and put it on. And this allows you to create a miniature tree. The only way to beat Zach is to build a bigger vehicle than him. That's what I've decided. We're, we're laying down the wheels right now and they, they're pretty big if you've noticed. This is gonna be a big cat truck. Okay, guys, we are speed building a truck right now. I have no idea how to build this, but you know what? Vehicles have won every round so far, so there's clearly something to it. I don't know how to upgrade this and make it more. Like, that's it. That's the whole idea that I that I have here, and I don't know what else to do. Like, I, I guess I could make more of them. Like, a little... Oh, I could. Azalea Forest. Okay, wait, that could be good. Like, a few of them. Oh, God, I can hear him building. He's doing something magnificent over there. Okay, so guys, for round three, we could build anything, and I'm attempting to build one of those big cat trucks, but, you know, it doesn't look like that at all. So I don't know what he's going to score this, but it's looking like another bronze. We are not doing well this game. We've got to pull this together somehow. All right, so we need some levers for some controls. We'll take a shovel out. I'm trying to get really innovative. We'll make, like, a little path right between it all, and then I'll have to, I have to give this some sort of a story, because if it's a bunch of mini trees, it's not that cool. This is going to be a giant turtle cage using baby trees. That way the turtle can feel like he's bigger. Now we have a bunch of baby turtles wandering around a baby turtle village with miniature trees. This actually is not that bad. I'm gonna use the final few seconds now to spam down a bunch of trees here. Time. Okay, wow, you scared me there. Whew. <laughs> oh, this time we're gonna look at Isaac's first and see what your mini build is. Let's just see, see if you know what it on. is. What the crap? This is like a full scale Tonka truck. Okay, it's like yes, mini. it's a Tonka truck, yes. It's not even mini. It's a cat. It's a. It's one of them cat trucks that carries the dirt and see it's stuck in the mud. I, I'll tell you what. I like the mud. It's actually not bad. I like the detail oh, of it. You. I think you did a great I, you job. You know what? We are struggling today, but you know what? We're, we're, I think we might do pretty well on this round. I, I think that's a solid silver to me. All right, take a look at mine. I made a. Read the sign. Read the sign. Is this a Zen garden where babies go to feel? Big? Oh, it's a little mini look at world. It. It's a mini world with mini trees for the mini turtles. That way they feel like they're bigger. Wow, you know, I, I kind of like it, but I just feel like this is a bronze. Oh, come on. I put so, all I had was a tree. I, I put so much into the story Listen, here. I like, the story deserves a you silver. You fit the theme better, but I built a Tonka truck. I'll give you Tonka yes. a solid silver. I think it's good, guys. I think it's good. It's definitely earning a point there. Yes. 
Ladies and gentlemen, round four is coming up. This one's special. It's a random mini build, but for this one, you've got to use glazed terracotta somewhere in your build. Oh, glazed terracotta is the build choice. The first thing I think of is Roman bat. Man, I am so good at this game sometimes, I feel like. I'm putting Zach to shame on this build, I think. He's not gonna know what to do with the glazed terracotta, but me, Roman bathhouse instantly came to my head. What I wanna do is actually create miniature cactuses that you could use maybe. In fact, I think we might win this one if we make this a little bit more detailed. Isaac cannot keep up with the speed that I have been building. Boom. Now we just gotta go around the whole area with this stuff, and then we'll fill in the inside with the glazed terracotta. Okay, we got the building built. Now I'm gonna put slabs in the corner as a little bit of ventilation for the hot tub air to get out into the main world. Okay, now we gotta get this hot tub in and we gotta go quick. Now we begin the miniature cactuses. We've got our little environment here. The miniature cactuses are actually going to be, uh, they're gonna be candles. I'll put some candles down as there's are little babies that are growing. Some dead bushes here to give it a little bit more flavor. I want it to feel like you're walking into a new world when you walk inside of this. Like, welcome to mini cactus land. All we need to do is put the glazed terracotta in. We gotta choose the correct glazed terracotta. And I think it's going to be this light gray one. It's probably the least shocking one to look at. Okay, now we need another terracotta, I think. No, you know what? We're gonna use gold. Gold literally is going to be rich. It's gonna frame the terracotta. And then we're gonna go water over top of this. Oh my gosh, we built it too high. Okay guys, we got the terracotta in. Now we just gotta fill this thing with water and then add some magma blocks, I think, so it's an actual hot tub. We have to go quick. We must be running out of time here. You know what? Get rid of the gold entirely and just use magma blocks. Now that is a Roman hot springs if I've ever seen one. And we're technically done, but let's keep trying to build to see if we can add anything else. Maybe there's a cat. There we go, cactus fruit. That's gonna look okay. There we go. That gives it a nice little vibe, a little something fresh and unique. Oh, oh, I forgot to even use terracotta the whole time. I didn't even do that. Trying to make a large, thick cactus. That's what this is supposed to represent. Look at this. Look at this. An owl in the cactus. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is a dub, folks. This is a major dub. Time. All right, I'm done. Mine is, again, quite terrible. Let's take a look at Isaac's first. All right, welcome. He has built I built a Roman bathhouse. Now, what? 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 If you come in, you see we got the terracotta on the floor here. It's in the hot tub. And then if you look up, we use the terracotta as a nice sunshine coming in through the top. Now, listen, I didn't know what a, I didn't know what a Roman bathhouse was, but look at that. It's bubbling on you. Look at all the bubbles. Oh, yeah. It's not bad. Oh, yeah. It's not bad. It's definitely a, it's definitely a mini Roman bathhouse. Thank it's you. A, I would never have in a thousand years expected to see a bathhouse. Thank you. Mine is. Wow. What? Oh, oh. If you know what the big cactus is called, that's a gold block. Sequoia. Ah, that's a tree. I actually really like this. I'm not gonna lie. Really? Um, hmm. I wouldn't give it a gold. I like it. I give it a gold. Yes! I liked it. Let's it's go! It's creative. Like, I, I didn't won think him of it. over. I did not think of that. Wow. I'm getting dominated today. I might as well just go home. <laughs> Let's go! Next round is a impressive mini build. This one must be your most impressive mini build you've made. I don't know. I haven't built anything good today. So guys, what I'm going to try to do is create a miniature campsite. Now, one trick I learned recently, you put slabs by this, and then your bed turns into a little mini sleeping bag. And then right next to it, we're going to build a staircase that leads to our little mini campsite. So we're going to do a andesite edge. I, I, would, I wouldn't recommend making your campsite out of like, you know, stone, but it's going to look pretty cool. Okay, guys, most impressive mini build. Here we go. I don't know what to build, but I'm thinking bone blocks are instantly coming to me. I think we try to build a skull or like a rib cage or something out of these things. Is there any more satisfying noise than placing bone blocks in Minecraft? That is such a good noise. I wish I could have that as my ringtone. And now you've got a miniature campsite right here. Okay. Now I think maybe we need a backside as well because you don't want anyone sneaking in your backside when you're sleeping. And then this is going to be a miniature swimming pool. Isaac loves swimming pools. All right, guys, we were supposed to build an impressive mini build. And what we've come up with here is a, I, I think it's a fossilized elephant centipede. Now, I don't know exactly what I was doing with this. I think what we need to do, these were supposed to be ribs, but they are now just going to be arms and legs and he's never going to know the difference. Wait a minute now. This is actually kind of coming along now. Whatever I just did actually worked. Now, I've been really impressing Isaac, so I want to keep this energy up right now, and I want to get a little campfire as well. Maybe, like, with a path? A little baby campfire? Now, if I bone meal it, it'll give this more of a vibe, so that's going to be a nice detail. We have a minute left right now to clean this up. I feel like I need a bear or a sniper rifle or something. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if I could get a sniper rifle out here right now and just freaking absolutely destroy Isaac with it, that'd be really cool, but I don't know if I can build a sniper in a minute. I'm going to try, though. 
Yes, look at this, guys. This is a woolly mastodon, and now let's put a spear in it so it looks like he died from getting attacked by humans. I'm not even gonna lie, this might be my favorite build of the day. So there's the sniper, all right? It's literally shooting out bullets at Isaac. Like, that's sick. This dude's like in the freaking Navy SEAL. This is not just a mini build. This is a mini build movie. <laughs> This is so stupid. <laughs> Let's go check out Isaacs, because I think he's ready. All right, you know what? I didn't finish all the way, but it's pretty good. Yo! It's a woolly mastodon that got taken down by a spear. Do you know what the word mini means? This Let's, is a full-scale mastodon. It's a mini mastodon. mastodon. Mini mastodon, Zach. Like, Zach, look at the spear. Look this at the spear right between his eyes. This is actually build. He got nailed. Okay, this is actually a fantastic build. To me, it's okay, a goal. Okay, there we go. That's our first goal of the day, baby. Now we come over here to Zach's, and I don't quite know what this is besides a cult. Uh, this. Are you, are you, wait, wait, are you stoning me? He's a sniper rifle. That's a red dot sight on a mini sniper rifle shooting snipers at Isaacs. Okay? Yeah. Oh, God. That's your grave, and I put a stake in it because I knew you'd want to be buried with stake. But the real build is not this mini battle scene, but the fact that I made a miniature warfare, all right? Designed with a sleeping bag, a mini pool, and a mini tent. That way I can get in here, sniper Ooh. you, and get out. Listen, I like this build. I think it's from seeing all your other builds today, I think this is a silver. I almost gave it a gold Zach. I almost did. Then I saw my dead body and I said, nope, that's a silver. <laughs> we got a couple rounds left. These ones are worth double points. So now it's double point rounds, game. baby. The next one is a stupid mini build. This one just has to be unbelievably stupid. The dumber build wins. Okay, I got this. I'm ready. You should. All right, so I'm going to try to create some miniature uh, power lines. Because, like, that's a really stupid idea in Minecraft. I just feel like it's so random, you would never expect this. So, power lines are... That's <laughs> what we're doing, folks. Now, I guess we can do that. Branch these off on the side. You can see how that honestly looks like a little bit of a power pole. And then we can actually trap a rabbit inside of this composter with a lead and use it to another... <laughs> we'll do this. We'll lead you. And then all I have to do is lead you to another rabbit, I think. <laughs> and then we'll have a miniature... Oh yeah, this is this is weird. Stupidest build we can think of, guys. Instantly, I thought of a cheeseburger. This is gonna be our burger build, and it's gonna be an alive burger that is talking. Making this one much smaller than our previous rounds. Learn from the previous rounds, okay. And look at that. Tell me that doesn't look like a burger right now. The next thing we are going to need is, what else could we do on this? Hmm. On this uh, idea that I found online, this guy's actually kind of putting like spider web here. Um, to kind of, I'm not really sure, I guess, look more like a power line or something. I don't really know. Honestly, it's one of the worst builds I feel like I've ever created myself. Okay, guys, here we are. We're supposed to be building the dumbest build we can think of, and here is mine so far. It is a burger. We just got to add the arms, and I think you're really going to be able to see what this thing is looking like. I think the only thing I could do to really separate this is build a nice super highway right on the side of it, you know? I think a good old-fashioned super highway down the side is going to win Isaac over because there's one thing he likes. It is a road. It is a good highway cutting through nature. We might have ourselves, folks, a last-minute comeback story here. What? What? Are we time? Do you need more? Oh, no, I'm good. All right, let's start with mine first. I built a super highway with telephone poles. I thought this was supposed to be the stupidest build, and you built a functional road? Because it is stupid. Because it's, I mean, <laughs> it's a super highway <laughs> cutting through nature. Come on. To be honest, I like the build. That's the issue. It looks good. Explain this to me. There are telephone wires that go along all the highways. Is this supposed to be weird? It's just stupid. There's rabbits. Uh, uh, <laughs> I trapped the this rabbits to make it. I don't know what you were doing with this one, but this is a bronze. All right, let's take a look at yours then. Whoa. Welcome. Oh. <laughs> I call this? this piece modern day cannibalism. This is so unbelievably good, artistic, and innovative. I'm actually breaking out the platinum score for this. You're getting oh, a four pointer. Oh, platinum! Woo! This is incredible, man. And I said it was he double or nothing. It. So I guess it's not really platinum. It's just a triple gold. Wow. Yes! That's a that big round incredible. for us, guys. Guys, for the last round, Isaac and I each get to put up a rule on the board. And that rule, we must use in our mini build. So, Isaac, my rule? Use 14 cows. <laughs> yep. Okay. My rule is a little bit different. You must, must scare, scare me, me with your build. Okay, all right, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do here, but these all have to be mini So the first thing will be a miniature gravestone right here and we'll go ahead and get a um, Skull of Isaac and we'll put that right on the gravestone and then we're going to use lecterns here to create a actual coffin This is gonna be a mini mega monster. So it's gonna be just over Isaac's skull here I think what we're gonna have to do is make a milk factory, right? It's the only thing that we could do and to do that we need to make a milk jug All right guys, we're getting our bottle built. I'm trying to think what we're gonna do Do we want white milk or chocolate milk now chocolate milk's probably better because everybody likes chocolate milk better That'll probably get us more points 
Okay, you know what? That kind of looks like a milk jug. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is change all the glass to brown glass so that it's chocolate milk. I'm gonna call this build factory farming, guys. We're gonna have all of the cows on top of the milk jug and that is where our milk comes from. They're just forced in a cage and they get milked right below them all day long. So we gotta place 14 cows down now. One, two, three, four. So it's like a miniature Alaskan bullworm that's eating Isaac. The smoke kind of makes it look a little bit creepier because why not? Then we can go through and honestly just Hail Mary this thing and replace the entire floor. Then all I have to do is add a couple arms to the side of this thing, bring the arms out like this. <laughs> this is kind of cool. 11, 12, 13, and the 14th cow has been placed. Now guys, if you can see this, this is called factory farming. The cows are forced to live in this small little enclosure while their milk is taken and sold to consumers as chocolate milk. Horrifying to see. This is probably the most horrifying build I've ever built. If Zach builds something worse than this, then he has real issues in his life. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is disturbing, dude. You ready? Um, I think so. Let's look at yours first. Walk me through it, right, Isaac, Zach. the final round. Whoa. Welcome to the chocolate milk factory. As you can see, we have 13 cows right here held in a cage, dripping down chocolate milk into the jar, which is 2%, by the way, as you can see. And they are only producing the milk because their baby is being held captive right across from them. Oh, wow. That's... Yes. That's, oh, my God. Yep. It's not a mini build, Isaac, but it's good. It's pretty mini, dude. I'm gonna keep my score in my mind and I want you to see mine next. Yours has to scare me. Ooh. Now, what is that? That, my friend, is the Alaskan Bull Demogorgon. Oh, look at the coffin here. Is that me? Yeah, that's you. You're in the coffin. That's oh, your dog, body. Oh, gosh. All right, I got your score. I'm gonna give you a gold for that. Oh, I'm giving you a gold too, which means we tied. Oh, oh a tie. Yes, that means I get it at 50 cents. 50 cents, dang. Well, we each get 50 cents, folks. All right, build number one. What's it say? Oh. Actually useful? Actually that? useful. Now, what I didn't tell you, Isaac, is today's theme is redstone build. If my brother loses, he's got to tell my dad that his girlfriend's pregnant. Good luck, buddy. All right, guys, I'm going to start the timer right now. So we have 10 minutes on the clock to get this thing rolling. And um, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea what I'm going to build. All right, guys, we have to build something practically useful. I have no idea what that means, but I'm just going to put all the blocks that look like they do redstone in my inventory. No idea what any of these things do. Okay, okay, okay. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to create an insanely efficient auto smelter like nothing you've ever seen before. Instead of spending a bunch of brain power building something actually useful, we're just going to build something that puts a pumpkin on his head with cursive binding. It's genius. So what I'm going to do first is use world edit today because I'd like to be extra efficient. So we'll go ahead and do this. And then above each of these cauldrons, y'all probably guessed it, we're going to hammer down some drippies, all right? So, and then underneath each of these, we're going to have to have a dripstone, all right? So the idea is this will drip lava down and give us infinite fuel. Problem is, I don't know if it drips through redstone, so we'll find out. Could, it might not. All right, does this drip? Oh, it does! I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely dripping. This one has water in it. What? Why are these dripping with water? That doesn't even make... What? So we have basically 300 seconds to build one of the most complex designs that I could actually imagine in the entire world. And I'm not sure I can do it because I've never done one of these. But step one, get your lava. Step two, we're going to find a way to automate this and get it over to here. But now I just need a chest where all the items go and then a bunch of hoppers that connect to the chest. A few moments later. I'm, I'm really not sure what I'm doing. I'm a little bit worried here. Minecart with a hopper. And that's going to go up here. Bro, this is so confusing. Okay, go. Oh, it didn't come back. Why didn't it come back? All right, maybe it'll come back now. Bruh. Okay, guys, I am running out of time, but basically what we've done here is built a giant minecart that sends Zach around into his eventual doom to get covered with a curse of binding pumpkin. But not only that, guys, I added a detector rail in over here. And with my expertise in redstone, I have created the biggest delay I have ever seen. So this basically makes the redstone signal take forever to get over to this dispenser, which is going to drop a book on him that calls him a noob right as his minecart lands down into the hole. I mean, this is genius. The only idea I have now, since there's like 28 seconds left, is I've literally got to lie to Isaac and hope he doesn't notice that I'm lying to him because this doesn't work. And that is time, ladies and gentlemen. That is time. Let me tell you what, I need to test one thing if you don't mind. I, I do mind, actually. I do mind. Um, Okay, you know what? It doesn't even matter. I don't need test. Go ahead, test it. Right? Go ahead. I don't need test Zach. I need you to get on this minecart though. All oh, right? interactive. Okay, here we go. Yep. Give you a little push. Oh, look at this. Okay, is that his whole design? A circle minecart? And off he goes. What is his design? What is he trying to pull off wow. here? Look at this, Zach. Look at the practicality of this thing. 
That's it. Oh, wait, wait, there's, oh, what is this? Oh, bro. Did I get him with the pumpkin? That's, oh my God. You exactly. actually just pumpkin me? Why don't you check your inventory for the book? With a book that says winner? Oh! oh double got him right there. Bro, that's pretty innovative. I'm not gonna lie to you. You just Thank roasted you. me. That's a great, that's a great utility build. Yeah, there's a lot to it. All right, time to see mine. I gotta warn you, it's pretty spectacular. Over here. Look at this. Now I'm muted so he can't hear me. I'm gonna let him guess what it is so he tells the story to make it more impressive. I'm gonna unmute. Hello? Yeah, yeah, what do you think this is, buddy? Um. What I'm seeing is an automatic lava farm, but is it a tank? It's not a tank. It's even better. So it just collects a lava and then, oh, it auto smelts things. That's right. That's Ooh. right. And look at this lava right here. Mm, that's pretty good, Zach. I cannot lie. You have outdone me on the redstone today. Well, let me show you something else. Is this dripping water for you as well? Are you seeing that? Well, look at that. Yeah, there's water right there. That's a Minecraft cursed hack. Good job. I, I know. I didn't even mean to. All right, let's go to the voting here. Come on over. The voting stage is a tennis court this time? That's right. It's a tennis court this time. You're going to vote on my half. I'm going to vote on your half. There's three blocks. Here they are for reference. All right, go ahead and pick your vote. All right, Zach, I'm going to put you in the back left here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a gold. I think it could have been a diamond, but I've seen it before. Absolutely fair, and I feel like you voted very well. Good job. Let's go ahead and go to the next round. What do we have, sir? A trap. Oh, man, that my literal build. I just used the same thing. Got to be a new one. All right, phase one is hooking up the dispenser to a comparator, which I think goes this way to one of these. This is going to be a little food trap. I'm going to invite him in for a meal and blow him up like I should do. And how is this a redstone block? The target? I mean, what is this even? That's a cool looking block though. I kind of want to use it now. Oh my gosh, does this send off a redstone signal when you shoot it? Is that why it's listed in the redstone blocks? Because I have no idea how this works. If so, this is going to be implemented in our trap design. Is this how it works? Oh my gosh, it does guys. I didn't know that, but we are 100% gonna use that. That's your build right now, folks. So down here, we're actually gonna connect these to two powered rails. I feel very comfortable now compared to the last round. I feel like I'm more in my element here. Now, I don't wanna blow the whole arena up so we won't do infinite. We'll just do a couple of them. Okay, so we've set up our target. Now we need to get a redstone line out the back of this and somehow that needs to trap him. Now it's gonna be pretty difficult considering he knows the trap is coming, but we're gonna have to figure out a way around that. Well, first we're gonna do a trap door to the front entrance. It's gonna be like, oh. It's not the trap, Isaac, it's a fake out. Then on the inside, we're gonna have a trip wire. Also a diversion to make him think that's the trap, but it's not. And this will actually trigger just redstone lamp. That's it. Oh man, oh man. There we go. That's how you get some vision in here. Let's get a quick roof. I need to use world edit save time because we're down to just 300 seconds. Okay, guys, my original trap design did not work, but I think dispensers will work through carpet. So new plan is we're going to have him stand right here on the white piece of carpet. And once he shoots the target, it's going to send a redstone signal all the way around the outside to activate the pumpkin dispenser, which is right below his feet. We supply food, you cook. We supply food, you cook. So that's like the BBQ chef. We supply food, you cook, get her done. So like Isaac's gonna be like, oh, cause I know he likes meat. He's like, oh, BBQ shack. And then he's gonna come in here and be like, oh, I'm so excited to actually cook some barbecue. And he's not gonna realize that really what he's doing is killing himself. Bro, I made a full on story on mine, which is absolutely beyond what I expected to do. 11 seconds left. Let's go ahead and unmute ourselves here. Let's get this last little de detail in. Six seconds. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Get it down, get it down, get it down. Time! Whew. Zach, I just want to make it clear. When you go over to my place, I need you to not look at anything until I tell you to come. Understood. I actually prepared for that. Uh, Isaac, uh, I just wanted to invite you in. Instead of making a trap, barbecue I decided- Barbecue shack. Yep. Oh, what kind of barbecue we got here, Zach? We go check Texas it out, go check Memphis. it out. Get on in there. Texas barbecue, I wish. Okay. Welcome to the barbecue well, shack, my I guy. I walked over a tripwire, Zach. Hickory we wood smoked. Go ahead and grab some hickory wood and some grass-fed meatballs. It's just a barbecue shack. I didn't want to like do anything weird. I just wanted to give you a little surprise. Oh, okay. Go ahead I'll and just steak, then. Right, go ahead yeah. and just. Bruh. You gotta cook it. Oh, why? Well, I mean, Zach, it should already be cooked if I'm coming. It's not. Did you not food. read the front entrance? It literally says, "We supply food. You cook. Get her done." What kind it's of right barbecue there. makes me cook my own meat? It's like fancy, okay. dude. All right, all right. I guess. I'll... Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, that's exactly why you don't cook your own food when you go to a restaurant, people. Did you see that comment? Be honest. I, I'll be honest, Zach, that was a lot of TNT. I was thinking like one, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can teleport to me now. All right, Zach, I want you to stand on the white target because this is a shooting competition versus me today. Okay. So I need you to stand there while you shoot it. I missed. Oh, he misses. Okay. Oh, I pumped him again. Wait, how? What? 
Bro, are you serious? They didn't even see it coming. You're actually completely right. I literally have never in my life seen this design. This is the dumbest thing. No, you put Zach, the redstone on the outside? Know. This is so bad. How, Zach, I don't know how redstone works, so you'll never see it coming because I don't do it the right way. Watch this, Zach. You shoot the target, and the redstone signal travels all the way around and then below you, and then shoots the dispenser. Up. I'm honestly speechless. Let's get to the voting because that is quite the design. I got to be honest with you, man. I, I liked it a lot. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. I'm going diamond. I was going gold for you. I've never That's... actually got exploded by meat either, so it's a good build. Okay, all right. On to the next round then. Here we go, folks. Button. Favorite part. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Reroll, reroll, reroll. Got to reroll. Okay. I have no idea. Has no purpose. Whatever. Hidden. Is this another reroll? Hidden room. Hidden room. All right. Okay. I can do that. All right. We're going for a completely hidden door. I want to try something never, ever seen before in Minecraft history. I'm trying to push the limits because I feel like Isaac should give me a diamond. So what we're going to do here is try to create a really engaging hidden door that really isn't going to be easy to find. Now, part of me, guys, wants to just put a button down, tell him it's a hidden room, and then it just puts a pumpkin on his head. I mean, I don't see how we could go wrong with that. So we might need to consider that right now. What's interesting is the lectern from the bottom has the exact same texture as oak plant. Thanks. <laughs> but I have to line it up correctly. Oh, it's literally invisible. So now in theory, if I put a book here, look at this. This is actually invisible. There's literally no way that he would know this is up here. I swear, They're like it's not possible. That is set up. All I have to do now is literally just cover this thing up. Okay, guys, we only have 200 seconds left, and I have absolutely zero plan for this round. Now, I usually don't have a plan, and it really ends up not mattering ever, so. <laughs> Why is, oh, there it is, take the book. Then it opens, then you walk down this dark hallway and you can get it and then you get pumpkin. Now we're gonna make it feel like a little bit of a game here between him and like, uh, I don't know, maybe like him and like the guy from Saw. All right, there we go. We've got little creepy signs around here and we have 97 seconds left, which I'm going to use to create really uncomfortable, disturbing distractions. Okay guys, we have 43 seconds and I don't have the pumpkin crafted yet. This is going to be a very tight round right here. Okay, get the pumpkins in. Get the book in, and there we go. Now we just need to fill in these dispensers with these pumpkins, and we are done for the round. Yeah, let's do yours first. Are you ready? You teleport to me. All right. Here we go. I made a beautiful little starter home right here. I tried to make the top look like Doug Dimmodome. Do you think I did a pretty good job at that? Not tall enough, but all I know is I don't trust anything. Oh! Nice. Wait, got him still. It didn't matter. He still got him. That's I crouched. I crouched. I just wanted to pumpkin you, to be honest. Let me let me show you the secret room though. Oh, got him again. That's four times today, guys. Where's the, where's the secret room? Where's the secret room? All right, so this was all just a diversion to get a pumpkin on your head. But if we come over here to the garden, Zach, what Wait. do you notice that's a little different? Nope. Wait, this wood? Well, kind of, Zach. There, this pumpkin up here, Zach, was carved, and you were supposed to notice that. It's not connected to the stem. Why? Oh, oh, you just made that wood. Oh, oh, oh. That's the wall. Wow. So now you're in a secret room. All right, all right. That's interesting. I'm going to TP you into mine. Oh, uh, you can TP to me now. Okay. Now, go ahead so and you've kind of forced me into a box. I don't know if this is fair. Go ahead and stand up, my friend. You find the room in 60 seconds, you win. I get an iron. You can't take longer than 60. I walk away with diamond. Rules, no breaking. Use chest items only. What is on the wall there? Is that Morse code, Zach? What is, am I in the, the Joker movie? Your timer begins now. Let's play a little okay, game, guys, Isaac. I'm just going to start hitting all the buttons. Maybe it's just a button. Maybe he was lazy. Let's play a little game. Okay, now. Let's have some fun. hooks. Can't use them anywhere. Nope, that is not going to work. <laughs> right here, I think. Now, if I put string across there, so the string can only be too wide, though. Hmm. Time's halfway expired. He did give me an oak button, I think. So if I just start putting that everywhere. All right, once you get 30 seconds, you get a hint. The hint is the items I gave you do nothing. They're all distractions to waste 30 seconds. Well, Zach. 15 nothing seconds. Nothing does anything then. It's, what is it, a passcode? How am I going to figure out a passcode in 60 the seconds? The buttons do nothing. The signs do nothing. The chest that does something. The chest does nothing. Nothing in this room. Even the carpet does nothing. Oh wait, I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. One of these is a crafting table. Uh and once I use it, it's gonna A book. D. What does that mean? Why is this a book? Take the book. <laughs> I have done it. And the I have pumpkin! Done it. And the pumpkin! It doesn't matter. 
I got a diamond, Zach. You got it done way after the minute. You can put that diamond on my ranking. Come this way, buddy. I put it there for you, you to make your job easier. Bro, you couldn't find the secret room. You I'll fell for it. I'll give you a gold it. for that. I give you a gold. You got me with the pumpkin. I'm giving you That's a silver. Fair. I've given you three golds, dude. I could have given you a silver at some point today. You know what I could have given you? Nothing, because you've had four pumpkins on your head. Push the button. What do we got? Fun in games is what this one is. Fun in games. You have to invent a fun game made of redstone. All right, guys. I'm going to attempt to build a seesaw today. So here's your seesaw. Going to go both ways here, just like that. Then what you're going to do is pop down a piston right here. Oh, just like that. And what makes this really work is the hidden rail you're going to put on the piston. So I wonder what Isaac's making, though. Okay, guys. Fun in games. The obvious thing to do was to make the entire floor slime block. So now we have a giant trampoline. But that's not good enough for me. I want to get some furnace minecarts going into this. Now, I think in creative, you can just like one shot these in survival. So it's going to be like a mini sleeve with a furnace minecart. All right. Redstone's going to come in. Boom, 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 boom. And then, of course, a torch actually goes in. So that's going to make that one higher. There we go. Look at that. All right. Five minutes on. Oh, uh, I feel like he's gonna love like a cute little oak sapling, like a little something like this. Pop that down with some bone meal, a little bit of that. Mm. All right, I wanna get a campfire down. You see, the more I set the scene, it's really gonna sell this, all right? It's really gonna sell it. He's gonna feel like he's actually at a park. Actually, all I want. I want him to fall for it. I want him to love it. Okay, guys, no idea what I'm doing here, but we have this elaborate minecart rail track that you use the levers to switch the way you're going on the minecart. And I'm thinking one player rides around in a minecart and has to change where they're going, and the other person has to run away and try not to get spleet. What I really need to do is find an innovative way to get a dispenser to launch a pumpkin at his head. This ends up allowing you to create like really cool weapons and shields and stuff. There we go. So this one's got a sword and this one over here. Oh, we only have 25 seconds and the redstone's not set. No! Time is up. All right, so we need to go into game mode survival for this to work. Uh, okay. One person is going to be the minecart chaser, as I will put them. Now, you're going to get in this minecart, Zach, and I'm going to give you a diamond shovel. Okay. Now, Hurry. I think... Oh, crap. No, slow down, Zach. I'll give myself oh my one. Gosh. Now you are what? ruining the game. Okay, so imagine this sack with 100 players. Now, you are the chaser. You're the spleef guy. I am the runner. So you have to try to spleef oh! me down. And you have to use the levers to move around the map. I wanted to hate it, but it's super interesting and innovative. I actually love it. Hey, Didn't work, so though. Much. Come on over. Come on over. Welcome. Park funded by the city of Mellon. Welcome. I didn't make the seventh grade basketball team. Zach, listen, dude. <laughs> that is so long ago. You can't oh, keep bringing that in, up. Come on in. Come on. Hop on. Hop on. Get up, go over there. Hop on one of the um, seesaws. Hop in the minecart. Is it, this is a seesaw? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Whee! Oh, you know what this is more than a seesaw? It's like a teeter totter. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I, I don't know. I feel like I try to go so much bigger than you, though. Yeah, but mine works. You know, there's something to be said it about does, something that actually does, works. You're right. You were creative and it works. So I'll give you that. Yeah. We're all tied up. Go ahead and pick your color at the exact same time for the rating you're going to give me. Three, two, one, pick. Oh, 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 another tie. All golds for you today, Zach. Wow. Wow. Great. Oh, gosh. I don't know any build hacks for that. Now, this one's going to not make a lot of sense to you, and I wouldn't recommend doing this in real life because you do need a railroad. Do this. Dig a hole. Pop down some railroad tracks like this because you're going to be driving that dead body right into the heart of this grave. Okay, round one, we have to build a building hack with a grave. Now, I don't know where to begin, but the first thing's first. I feel like we have to build a grave. Duh. You actually want to put a zombie into this. Oh, yeah. Get in there, buddy. Get in there. Down the hatch. Sheesh. This is pretty easy, but you just got to piston this bad boy down. If you all have been watching my content for a while and you're a super fan, thank you, because you already know what I'm doing here. Piston, redstone, pop it down. Bam, bam, bam. That's how you do it. Uh, it has to go one more, though, because, um, you know, it's not in the ground yet. All right. Didn't work. Well, I want to go down. Ah, there we go. Just had to break that piece of grass, obviously. There we go. This is a long process just to get a little grave. All right, guys, I know for a fact I have seen this before. I am trying to make like some sort of like coffin right here that's opened up. And then we're going to put like an actual body right here. This is going to be our build hack for the day. We need a little ble bloodstone, as I like to call it. A little blood leaking out of his body. We need some wither roses because it needs to feel creepy. 
it's a good start. I don't think this is by any means a winner. Um, what was even the challenge? I don't even remember. Okay, I have completely changed up my build. I am now turning this into a ritual to bring back the dead. Um, as you can see, we have the candles all around the skeleton grave right here. I mean, this is basically a scene out of a horror movie. This is some sort of witch ritual right here. But what I'm gonna do is right here, I'm gonna create like a giant um, tomb, something like this. Look at that, dude. Like some like super wealthy man was buried here. We gotta get some skeleton heads now and pop these all around because obviously, put one right there, put one right there. We're gonna have like one maybe just like poking out the back right here in the corner, just something that snuck in. Okay, we're running out of time and I'm about to do something very risky. I'm going to use redstone. That is something that I should never do, but I feel like this is going to work beautifully to hide our little skeleton right here. It's gonna cover up the bottom part if I can push this wood onto it. Now, I don't think this is very advanced redstone. I think anybody could do this, but I don't know if this is gonna work or not. So I think all I have to do is power this thing and it should push that into it. Boom, we actually did it. Now we just need to put it back together and our build will be complete. So we really have pretty much everything you could ever want here. At the end of the day, I mean, this is quite the experience. The last thing I really could do here is maybe label some of these to kind of give you a little bit more. I don't know if I have time, only 20 seconds. Okay, we're running out of time, but I think I just put the finishing touches on the build once I set this to soul sand. Uh-oh, I'm choking. Okay, there we go. Soul sand, this is complete. This is not bad, dude. All right, time is up. Let's go check Isaac out. Isaac, meet me in the center. Now, guys, in order to switch things up today, we'll still be voting for each other, and we're going to see who wins at the end, but our real champion will be decided by you guys. So leave a comment down below who you think wins every round. Isaac, first round, let's take a look at what you've created. All right, Zach, so... This is a witch girl. You know the witch girls in real life? Okay. This right here is a witch girl bringing back to life her fallen boyfriend right here. She misses him and she's bringing him back. All right, that's pretty That's pretty cool. Rip lover fella, lost too many build battles. Okay. I like it. What are these eyeballs? This one has a guardian over the, gar the grave. That's why I didn't get raided by the witch. Dude, I'll be honest with you. It's very creative. All right. Aesthetically, I don't know, but it's creative. Come check out mine. Right, thank you. Wow, you have like a whole forest in here. What the heck? Dead bodies, ice cream. I'm going this way. Celebrate the death of your loved one today. This is what? What? <laughs> this is absolutely horrible. What? You can't be doing that. Keep going. Keep going. Grab yourself a bite. Did you just kill me? Are you? Are you like the owner of the grave? Onto the dead bodies, my friend. <laughs> Halsey. What? Ah, uh, just the name of a child that Jacob? just murdered. A young baby. Soldier. What? What kind of gravesite is this? It's a very dynamic one. It's a very. That's what I said. It's dynamic. Oh, look at that! You did the coffin thing too. I saw that once. Oh yeah. Keep going. Keep going. What else we got? Oh, what is that? There's a zombie in there. Oh, you did the same thing I did. Whoa, look at that. Oh, okay. I made a full detailed graveyard with an entire family that was murdered over the course of thousands of years with free ice cream. All right, guys, here's the voting. We have iron, we have gold, we have diamond. Zach and Isaac, go ahead and get your scoring ready in three, two, one. Place it in the row. Begin. Sorry, dude. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. I Whoa. just didn't think it was good. I lied to you when I said it was. I thought it was awful. You had a coffin. I had a coffin. Coffin plus My another coffin. coffin plus a bunch of details. All right, next round. I just didn't like yours. Here we go. Next round. Okay. Pumpkin carving. Good luck, sir. If we have world edit on this world, it's going to substantially help me build quicker. We do it. We do. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. That is about the perfect size for what you're going to be looking for today. You got to start with a big pumpkin because that way you can actually carve it. Okay, guys, I guess we have to worry about making the entire place look good, according to Zach. And little does he know, there's a command called slash pumpkins. And I'm going to do this everywhere to get the actual ambiance of this place a lot better because apparently that's all he cares about. Okay, now we have a pretty good ambiance in here with the slash pumpkin command. I'm just going to go ahead and fix up the floor too. I feel like it's not very fall-like. All right, now in order to make the eyes, you can actually use, I would say, you could use acacia stairs, but I think smooth sandstone is going to work better. So we could kind of do this and this and then have the eyeballs look kind of like that. All right, this is interesting. I'm really curious what he's going to be making because I don't know how else you could make a pumpkin other than kind of like this. All right, guys, I'm, I don't know why. I just feel like building a giant pumpkin. I love watching the people in real life grow those giant pumpkins. And I feel like we can build one out of actual pumpkin blocks. And then there's like these new vine blocks in the game that we can use too. And I'm thinking we use the twisting vine as our like big stem coming out. I'm actually going to also replace my entire floor because I feel like if I don't do the entire scene, the build just doesn't go well. So I'm going to do the entire floor. I'm going to set it to like Podzul, dirt, sand, kind of like a pumpkin patch. Oh, holy crap, these vines are growing on their own. I've never actually seen vines grow. I don't know if that's because the tick rate's higher. They always do that, but that's actually a pretty cool looking stem coming out of the top of this pumpkin. Now we just need to like carve this thing because I think that's part of the uh, objective here today. If I can create like an actual pumpkin mouth here using these stairs at the bottom, this would look so unbelievably cool. 
Place upside down. There we go. Okay. That is our creepy pumpkin smile. It needs a light source in here. So I'm going to use the only block that would make sense in a jack-o'-lantern. I just got to find a spot to put it. And I think we're just going to take the spot of this chest. So this is actually going to be the perfect size for our pumpkin. I'm going to have to leave it like that. And then some dripstone for spiky teeth, maybe. All right, I need to zoom out and see how this looks. That is a creepy pumpkin. Bro, that's literally not bad. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself. It looks like a Joker smile. All right, Isaac. Let me show you around what I just built here today. All right, let's take a look. Last time, apparently, oh. it looked like terrible. Wait, so did you use the command pumpkin patch? Obviously, dude. It's a pumpkin <laughs> build. Duh. So it's, it's in a giant pumpkin patch right here. And here we go. I call this Casa de Pumpkin. Did you just do slash pumpkin on my build? I wanted to see if that was actually a command. It is, by the way. So wow. you made a pumpkin house. Yeah, and as you can see, Zach, there's lots of seeds, and it's all slimy in oh, here when you're, when you're carving one out. Oh, um, creative. The seeds, the slime. Well done. That's pretty funny. Yep, and it smells like vomit in there in real life, too. So I like this. I'll give you an honest rating. I actually genuinely like it. Come take a look at mine now. Oh, wow, dude. A local little hometown show. That's right. Enjoy this walk around. A couple interesting little unique. All this stuff? Oh, just wow. some unique pumpkins on the pumpkin walk till the grand finale. If there's not pumpkin donuts here, I'm probably going to score this pretty low. Now, this one you better prepare yourself for. Oh, <laughs> how about that? Now, I have to say this is a really good build, Zach, but the, the paper specifically said pumpkin carving. I could literally carve the pumpkin, a face and into it. What do you call that? I can see that you built onto the pumpkin. I carved it. You know, like you've added stuff to the pumpkin. I literally don't know what you're talking about. It's what's, not even What's really going to settle this for me, Zach, and how I score this? I'm going to look to see if the pumpkin is hollow. It's not. It's not. <laughs> The pumpkin is not hollow, so you didn't even carve the pumpkin. <laughs> it's thick. Bro, it's a thick pumpkin. All right, fair, fair critiques, fair critiques. Those are valid. I'll give it to you. All right, voting begins. Three, two, one, go. Wait. Wait, what? Wrong you place. Me iron again? Wait, sorry, I meant gold. My bad. Wrong button. Oh my goodness, dude. Round number three, a spooky biome okay guys round three we made a little bit of a comeback there well not really but we at least tied that round i know exactly what we're gonna do we have to build a biome and the scariest thing on the planet is a salad you heard me right any vegetable is absolutely disgusting so i'm going to build a salad biome all right so this is our dead spooky tree right here in our dead biome we'll put a little bit of mycelium on the ground here as well kind of like it's leaking out of this tree like it's extending and spreading everywhere not exactly sure what this is just something really creepy this is really cool looking actually so far okay here we go we have all of our salad bowls right here complete now we just need to fill them up with a bunch of different salad things so i'm thinking lettuce and tomatoes and onions okay guys salad bowl number one is done we got some tomatoes some carrots I think these are purple cabbages. I wouldn't know. I've never eaten one. And then we got lettuce right here. All right, the base of this, we'll do some details with all kinds of like random dead stuff. And then I want to get some crimson vines as well. A bit more of this, just kind of tentacling out here. So now if I'm good, I could actually just take this, copy, paste, and world edit it. A couple of these. I think the last thing we're going to do in this biome is to just build some giant vegetables. We only have 370 seconds left, but I think I can build at least an eggplant and a few others in that amount of time. That's interesting. It looks like a weird little plant. Bet. We'll do it. Weird little, weird little pillar plants. Okay. What else do biomes have? We have, we need, we need mops. We need mops. We need like a skeleton or anything that's skeletal, I think would look good in here. That is absolutely perfect. So we have a beetroot, a giant carrot, an eggplant. And then we have a purple onion and a white onion. Is there anything else we can add in 40 seconds that would really put this over the top to get us a gold? So it's actually gonna be interactive. He's gonna literally be able to walk in, break the glass and enter the biome. And it's gonna feel like he's walking through a portal. I could actually make the entire portal out of bone, which would look even more interesting. I think it came out decent. Let's go ahead and break her up. All right, Isaac, are All you right, ready? Zach, I'm gonna take a look at yours first today. Welcome, my friend. Go ahead and walk in. Whoa, the bone Welcome. portal to the haunted boneyard. Go ahead and oh, hop on I, in. I must say, I like the little portal you did there. That Thank is creative. You. I wanted to give you a little feeling like you're hopping into a new dimension. Ooh. Completely themed after death, bones, ghosts, and grunge. Am I getting terror in here? No, I actually kind of like the feel of it. <laughs> no, it's supposed to be real creepy. I'm a, I like this. It doesn't blow me away, but the portal at the beginning was pretty good. I really like that. Well, that was a literally a last second idea. Let's see what Isaac's is then, if he didn't think mine was scary. Vegetables? Welcome to Salad World. 
bro. Yeah. This was absolutely terrifying to be over here for that long, Zach. I hate salad. The level of difference in our builds is unbelievable. Why does this have freaking, why does this have puffer fish eggs? What is this? No, no, Caesar salad has like fish in it, dude. They, they grind up like anchovies and there's no what? anchovies in Minecraft. You've literally never had a salad. That's so untrue. What is this, milk? Okay. It's ranch. Okay, I take off some points. You didn't label these items, so it looks like milk and dressing. Listen, Zach, what am I standing in right now? I bet, I guarantee you know what this is. This is a cucumber or pickle or celery. It's a celery. There's yes. no peanut butter. Well, that's because we're in vegetable world, Zach. There's no peanut butter in vegetable world. I guess there are a lot of people that would see this video and think to themselves, yeah, vegetables are really scary. And they would agree with you. Truly incredible. Let's go ahead and get the voting on. I mean, honestly, it was so weirdly creative. I'm popping it with a gold. Yeah. I'm giving you a gold too. The bone portal is actually why you got the gold. If you didn't have that, I was going to give you a silver. We've got one more round, guys, and then you're going to decide who the winner is at the end of today's video and see if you agree with what we voted. Isaac, go ahead and do the honors for the very final round. I've been waiting for this. This one has a lot of potential. Cult. A oh. cult. The timer begins now, but this one actually has 15 minutes for the build. You got a little extra time because points now Ooh. are gonna be worth double in the last round. So go ahead and take your time and try to blow me away, Isaac. Now, first thing that pops to my mind is tadpoles. So let's go ahead and set this to a water biome. Then the bottom is going to be a block that maybe tadpoles would like. And to me, it's gonna be mud. So now we've got this. Okay, I think I have settled that we are going to be a cake cult. Cake is probably the best food in the world. Well, that's not true. There's a lot of better desserts, but it's the best dessert in Minecraft. So we are going to be the cake cult. Exact opposite of last round, we are going to build my dream world today. So this is going to be the center of the cult. And it's just going to be like displayed out with like a whole bunch of books like this. So that looks really creepy. And then we can surround it with a little pattern. This is very ritualistic, guys. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. This is looking pretty clean. We're going to pop down some lights on the edge here, and then we can spruce this up in some major ways here. Okay, we just put on the white icing, and honestly, it really does look like a Minecraft cake right now. I'm pretty impressed with this. Um, we do need to get the top decorated still, but for now, we have a cake. I think what we need to do is put a staircase to the top, like a Mayan temple. Okay, guys, and we have the mine staircase up to the top of the cake, and I kind of just continued the cake into it, so it actually does look like it's just part of the cake. The staircase is just built into a part of the cake that sticks out, and the top now needs to be our cult headquarters. Um, but for now, I think we need to, to spruce up the outside a little bit. So we still have five minutes left. Uh, the first timer just expired. The goal of my ritual is to be a tadpole layer. So to lay tadpole eggs like I've done. So these are all my babies. That's the idea here. We created something quite disturbing. We have all the baby little ritual AI guys down there looking out. So here we go with the red shirts on everybody surrounding, might I say, a few descenders. These were some pumpkin pie fans in the pit right here. And we are all watching over them as they smoke to death. And the final touch, we got to get these guys in some fresh sneakers. And the red ones are looking absolutely perfect on all of these guys. And the cake call initiation up here is complete. I mean, these guys are learning what it's like to be a part of cake gang. Are you ready? Yeah, I was getting a drink. Please enter and commute. All right. Begin the ritual. Whoa. Welcome. This to is what the heck? Welcome to Tadpole Land. Step one, make your way to the ritual chamber. Read the book for your very first challenge. I like this. Oh, there's challenges. Oh, I can't even get through the tadpoles, dude. How many did you put in here? Please, quickly, before they hatch. Sacrifice a villager. Yes, sir. Oh, there's already one there? To your oh. left. Oh. Complete the four challenges for the ritual in order to unlock the ultimate tadpole queen. Okay, ritual I one has been ones. completed. Let us light swim the candles. With the, swim with the god tadpole. Is he over here in the, the lava? The god tadpole is in the cage in front of you. All right, guys. Second ritual is coming in right now. He has swam with the god tadpole. We light more candles. I'm really Complete. enjoying this clan. Complete the third ritual. Use your soul with it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what? Big jump there. Big jump there. What did what, I just do? Uh, fuse your soul with the energy spirit. Okay, okay. Man, this is... I would definitely get inducted into the cult in real life. I'm all down for this. You are now one with the okay. tadpole. And then I need to... Oh, is that it? And now I'm a tadpole member? You are now one with the tadpole kingdom. When I light these final two, are you prepared? Okay. I'm ready. Is it actually going to turn me into a tadpole? Because that would be incredible. Are you ready? Oh, I like this music. All right, you're now a tadpole. That'll be $50. Oh, dang, I, I, I gotta pay you now? I, I'd rather you just eat me. Let's go take a look at old Isaacs here before the server crashes from 50,000 tadpoles being hatched. Welcome to Cake Gang over here, Zach. Oh! Now, if you look over here at these guys right here, they're watching cookies slowly have bamboo growth grow through them. Now, this is these are new members. They're That's like a form of torture. 
Yeah, exactly, because we're Cake Gang, we don't want cookies. So these guys are learning what it's like to be a part of Cake Gang. That is disturbing. What? And then, if you come over here, Pumpkin Pie is the other enemy of our clan. They're the other <laughs> clan. That's so funny. And so, these guys are watching the, the Pumpkin Pie get tortured. Oh my um, god. As we make our way up the pyramid, it's a giant cake, if you notice. Yeah, um, yeah. I actually discovered you can make walls Whoa. and cake. This is groundbreaking. Did Wait, you did know you invent you can make this? Cake walls? Did you invent I this? I just invented it. Bro, I've, I've never it. seen that in my life. I know, this is a build hack. You could do a whole cake build hack video. There's so many things you can do with them. I um, cannot believe anyways, you just did that. This guy used to be a big member of the clan. He was actually a dragon head at one point, but uh, he uh, betrayed the clan, so we put him in frosting up here, and he's, he's died. <laughs> oh, my God. And then in the middle, these are this is a Cookie Gang member and a Pumpkin Pie <laughs> member. Wait, you're burning, burning them. Oh my, oh, my God. It crashed again. Bro, that is literally the greatest thing I've ever seen. You're getting a diamond. What am I getting? Zach, you are getting a diamond, too. Final scores are here, guys. That's what we voted on. Now tell me what you vote on in the comments below and decide who wins. Peace.